Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Bowies, and I have a big surprise for you guys. So I come out to the uh, reptile room this morning, and lo and behold, bang, we have our first boa litter of the season. I kind of suspected that this girl was gravid and that she had her post ovulation shed um, towards the end of October. I think I just missed the ovulation, but I was about 90% sure she was carrying. And I think I mentioned that in a few videos that I had a snake down here on the bottom and where she was was right here in this one. I just got the babies out um, about a half hour ago. As you see, she's got a rat wrapped up right now. And um, so we're gonna let her eat that. Then we're probably gonna throw her another rat and um, get her out of there and clean up her cage. It was a small litter, guys, really small. Um, it was, we had 12 babies, two, we had two, um, we had no slugs. We had two stillborns, nine healthy live babies, as you see here. And she did prove out, they did prove out to be sharp albino. We only got the one albino that was good right here. And we, we, so right here we have five hypos, three mollies, and one sharp albino. And then up here we have another sharp albino, but it's the runt. As you see, it's really, really small. Um, it seems to be doing okay right now. It has, it has a, a big lump right there by the cloaca. Um, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and he said that, um, that that some, sometimes happens at ball pythons, and they'll kind of pass a hard urate. Uh, so hopefully that will happen, but um, as you see, guys, this is the um, this is the second sharp albino, and it's moving around. It's you know it's not as active as I'd like it to be, but it, it was flicking its tongue. It is moving. It's just really really small compared to the other ones. I know right now where it's alone, you probably it, on the camera it probably looks like oh it looks great, but next to the other ones, it's only about half the size and. Um, it's a lot more, you know, it's just not as active as the other ones, but we're going to see how it does. And uh, we're not, we're definitely not going to give up on it. And look how beautiful it is, guys. Look at the pattern on this albino. I mean, just amazing. I hope this, I hope this guy or girl makes it through. I really do. Um, of course, it had to be basically the nicest snake in the, in the litter to be the runt. But um, I'm super stoked, guys. I'm happy. And hopefully this little guy will make it. No slugs, just two stillborns. We had a hypo that was a stillborn, and we had a motley that was a stillborn. So, and as you see, guys, here's the litter. First litter of the 2018-2019 breeding season, and we do still have, um, we do still have two more litters to go. We have two more gravid females to go. We have this girl right here who's gravid, and then we have her in there who's also gravid, and she's actually moving around right now. But yeah, guys, so it's really, really exciting. I am like super, super stoked. These babies look amazing, as you see, guys. Um, the sacks, I already got the sacks off. Um, they're looking really, really good. As you see, just check out those Motley's guys and those hypos, just absolutely stunning, guys. And this albino right here, this sharp albino is amazing. Almost looks like a sun glow. But this thing is just absolutely, absolutely stunning, guys. I cannot be, I cannot be happier. I really can't. I'm wondering if this is a sun glow. I'll have to ask a few friends of mine. Um, it does look like a sharp albino, though. But it also looks a little sun glow-ish. But, um, yeah, guys, so... Absolutely amazing litter. Um, I couldn't be happier. I'm super stoked about it. <laughs> Again, I must have said it a hundred times. Check out that tail, guys. Oh, my God. These babies are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, this is Mike from Ball and Boys saying until the next time, peace.